At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome to Two Point Hospital. Alrighty, so I've been following this game for a while, and I've been looking forward to doing a new series. Uh, I realize I am a little bit late, as this game has been out for a while, and you know, a lot of other people are playing the game. But, here we are, Two Point Hospital. So, so we're gonna start with this as like the sort of tutorial hospital. I did play the game just a little bit to uh, just kind of get, you know, get my bearings. Two Point Hospital, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? I am. First things first, you'll probably want to have a look around to move, yeah, you know how to move. All right, move the camera. Da, 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 da. All right, move the camera. All right, reception. First thing you need a reception. Patients will head here when they arrive to the hospital. All right. So items, reception. The nice thing is, is we have rotate just like, just like you would expect from a game. So I want it kind of like centered. So maybe, or actually. Well, let's see if we do like a waiting room like we could maybe have it like right here so as the guests walk in and then the waiting room could be back here that could be a possibility because then we could have if I'm trying to plan ahead like the hallways would maybe kind of come off this way yeah you know what I like that idea let's do that so receptionist desk and now we need an assistant. So let's see. Get ourselves an assistant here. Do, 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 do. So we have Ava Flog. Uh, has potential. She has double jump, apparently. Uh, Lucille Hogwash. Class clown. Totally moleless. And it's funny how there's somebody like talking on the uh, <laughs> speakers when I don't even have any staff yet. And then Naughty Catborn. Positive, hygienic, inspiring, winks at their own reflection. Well, I like him because he is the cheapest, really. That's why. So there you go. We have an assistant. Yay. All right. So now we need a general practitioner's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assess patients and decide if they're ready for treatment. Okay. Cool. So since I already do the... Uh, I kind of did this a little bit, so we're going to kind of try and, I mean, not fly through it, but uh, what is the minimum? It needs to be three by three at a minimum, but I want it to be, I don't know, because the OCD in me wants it to line up with this wall right here. So we'll do the GP like right there, put his office maybe, or his desk like right here. And oh, place a place that. Uh, let's give him a trash bin because you know. Let's put the let's put the bin there. Um, let's put a couple plants like maybe in the corners. Yeah, that looks good. I think. Place dos place a door, office desk, file and filing cab. Blah, can't talk. Filing cabinet. Then click the green tick. That's very like 60s or like 70s looking office. Look at that carpet. Okay, so we need to hire a GP now or a doctor. We have Molly Broccoli, weak bladder, has good memories. Carlton sausage, class clown, spins to feel better. 
Andrew There's Panther, green fingers, a natural mentor, more roast than toast. Well, let's go with Molly Broccoli, because she also has uh, bedside manner. Increase the happen happiness of patients when dealing with them. So, like, Carlton Sausage has uh, increased or the general practice skill, motivation, uh, bedside manner, and then, oh, general practice too. But we'll go with her because, yeah. So there you go. All right. Hospital is open. Yay. All right. So our first uh, patient should start. Should start coming in. Pitch camera. Pitch is mouse. There we go. Yay. All right. So now we just need to diagnose a patient. Oh, here comes somebody. What do they have? Uh, looking, heading, feeling, diagnosis required. So he doesn't even know what he has yet. He just knows he's not feeling well. So let's see. Carlton Itch. Let's see, his mood is not too bad. He's comfortable. What is this? Hospital attractiveness log. All right. So let's see what Carlton Itch has. The GP is gonna be like, oh, pharmacy required. Okay, we've uh, diagnosed our first, pa first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Okay, let's check out the message. Uh, grout is, oh, this he has grout. Transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective. Well, we're gonna have him wait while we build us a pharmacy. So let's do that. Maybe like, Maybe we'll have like a hallway that kind of comes out here so the rooms will be more or less in the middle. So maybe like pharmacy will be there. And then, oh, look at that cool machine, huh? Look at that. Probably should have a fire extinguisher in here. And yeah, let's put a plan in here as well. Nice. All right. Oh, wait, no, don't cancel. No. Okay, <laughs> I like how it bopped him out of the room. And then we need to hire a nurse, right? So what does she have? Treatment? So let's hire Sarah Mouse. So we got two guys waiting for the pharmacy here. All right. Now we have everything we need to diagnose and cure simple illness. Let's see if our staff are up to the task. Yes, let's do it. You know, I have to say, like, I love the, like, almost, only this person just totally fell asleep. Naughty Catborn. Is that why he's called Naughty? His name is Naughty because he nods off to sleep? Is that what that is? Let's see, does it tell me? Oh, look at that. Patient cured. Awesome. Well done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Cool. We just our very first Hell yeah, we did. Look at him. He's all happy, swinging his arms around. Right, so the next thing we need to do, uh, we need to place two fire extinguishers. We already have one, which is right in here. So maybe we should have another one. Maybe we'll just put it in the GP's office. Um... I'll just put it like in the corner. And then the other thing is we need to hire a janitor. So we have Teresa Rutt, charming, unhygienic, and can't drive. Lily Hawk, high energy, literer, literer, unmotivated, appreciates a glass of something. And she has, uh, let's see, maintenance, increased repair and maintenance. Allows a janitor to upgrade mach machines and okay. Well, let's do let's do this one. She's a little pricier, but she has more skills. Janitors will be called to repair machine when it's in maintenance. Fall below fifty percent. Can request a janitor fix it whenever you want. Okay, keeping people happy. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy. Uh, patients get bored, thirsty, hungry, so we have to give them anemones. Enemies. 
Place two benches. All right, so what do we have here? Item controls. Got it. Hospital reputation. Got it. Okay, so let's make our little, basically we're going to make our little waiting room here. So we need two benches. It's weird that we need benches though. Why not like couches? Um, two benches, a leaflet stand, drink machine, and snack machine. So maybe we'll put this like, so this we'll kind of square this off right here. Maybe we'll do like, do that there. And we'll do, oops. oh wait, that's locked. Well, wait a minute. Oh wait, no, there we go. <laughs> Burp. And then a snack machine right here, covering up the window, beautiful. And then let's place some plants. Let's make it look. There, so it makes this area, it's like a little nice, nice little waiting room. I like it. All right, so staff energy, energy, staff energy and breaks. So basically, okay, now we need to make a staff room. New illness clamp. Once this grips a patient, it doesn't let go. Flex, it flicks many living statues and selfie taking chumps. Where's this person? Is this person with, are you the one who has clamp? Huh. Okay. So now we need to build a staff room. So let's see. I guess if we're going to keep our kind of the hallway on the outside of the building, then maybe we'll do, should we have the staff room over here? No, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it over here. So probably, let's see. Oh god. So that's probably a good size. Or should we... Should the hallway be one or two in... Uh, let's do that. So this will be our staff room. So maybe put like... Put a couch there. Maybe we'll put like a... Like an armchair here. And let's see. Maybe some lockers so they can like keep their personal belongings in. We'll do like three. We'll give them a couple snack and drink machines as well. Probably should have a bin. And again, plants. Yay, because everybody likes plants. It makes everything just look... <laughs> I also like that how there's like radio just... Playing. Alright. I mean, Yay! Like nice. Gardening. Staff room. Staff will head to staff room when they're on a break. A you can place the staff in a staff room to make them take a break. You will take a break now. It's <laughs> basically what that's saying. Oh, and look who's gonna go take a break. Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins. Uh, while we're at it, staff and patients will get pretty grumpy if they don't have access to toilets. So, we need some toilets. And, oh man, I actually would have liked to place them there. But maybe we'll do the toilets in this corner. So, restrooms, and then... How many of these should we have? I guess, like, three? And then... We'll have a sink, we'll have a hair, hand dryer, definitely need a bin, and another plant, just cause, you know, just cause it's a bathroom doesn't mean it can't look, it can't look nice, right? Yay! Uh, we should actually put a bin out here just because, uh, let's see, further diagnosis. Okay, we need a diagnosis room, no problem. But let's place a little trash can right there. Did we place one in the in here? Oh yeah, we did. It's in the corner. Um, hospital level, nice. As you expand the hospital, more rooms and staff, blah blah blah. A hospital gets busier, queues will get long. Okay. 
increase hospital level by expanding the hospital with more rooms and staff. So we need to cure two patients, and to do that, uh, we need general diagnosis. So let's see. So maybe we have another hallway right here. Maybe this will just be a single... Yeah, so we'll do that right there. Door there. And this is easy scan. So let's put easy scan there. We'll have a couple of tables here. Uh, oh, I guess we only need one table. Of course, can't can't not have a bin. Got to have some plants because it makes everything feel very nice. All right. And then I think for this we also need a nurse, right? So let's hire another nurse, and Ted Beeves, he is, will work for Peanut Short Temper, grows, tu grows turnips to give his gifts. Hygienic booked a hot air balloon ride, but chickened out. Well, let's go with this guy, because he's got two stars. Alright, so now we have... Wait, what do we... Right, okay, so we have this guy. If people need to go into the, the general diagnosis, is no hopefully they'll, they'll get what they need. Well, this person got all healed up. Look at them walking, elbows held, elbows held high. Oh man, we got quite the queue of people waiting for our doctor. What, what are you doing? Um, maybe we should get another doctor? Oh wait, she's coming back. She's coming back, I think. Oh, where are you going? I thought you were coming back. Are you still on a break? What are you doing? Traits. Yeah, she has a weak bladder. Oh, well that was quick. What is this? Needs toilet, 88%. Well, okay. Neato. I don't know, if you need a, if you need a, Need toilet, 90%. Revenue. Uh, we're currently, we're currently losing money, so we need to definitely make that better. Um, well, we've cured, we've cured one patient out of two. So we're getting there, getting there. This, who's this person? Oh, that's our other, our other nurse, but okay. Increase hosp hospital cure patients by diagnosing them. So basically we're just waiting for somebody to be cured. Hopefully this person gets cured, right? You're gonna be cured. I know you will be. Come on, cure. Spin up that cure. How goes it? Those kind of look like hot coffee cups. <laughs> All right, yeah, you drink that coffee. Yay! Woohoo! Cured two patients. Nice. Alright, good news. We've cured 10 patients in total. Each cure boosts our reputation, which attracts more patients. Uh, ooh, we unlocked the ward. Awesome. Lightheadedness. So let's see here. Molly Broccoli is ready for promotion. Sure, why not promote? Alright, so GP office. We need to build one more. We need. One more doctor. Uh, we've already done that. And then to unlock the deluxe clinic, we need to get our hospital to level four and earn fifteen thousand dollars. Nice. So let's get let's get another GP office. I feel like this one is. I don't know. I wish I could build it off of there, but I can't. So we'll build it off of here. It doesn't need to be as big. This is like, uh, oh, we've exhausted all forms of diagnosis on a patient and we still don't know how to treat them. We'll need some more diagnosis rooms. Otherwise, the patient will leave. What? Why do I need... I'm confused by that. Uh, let's get you a bin. Let's get you a couple nice plants. Nice. 
And then we need another doctor. So let's do Caleb Spoon. Charming, wouldn't recommend it. He sounds like the perfect fit for our hospital. What is this guy? What is he wearing? It's true, plants do need water. Who waters the plants? Okay, you are watering them. All right, so let's see, one of our patients, we can ask them to wait until we have more diagnosis rooms. Why do I... Okay. I mean, this is our diagnosis room. I don't understand why we weren't able to do anything for him. I'm not really sure about that, but... Uh, misery guts, chronic grumpiness due to nihilistic semicolon. Oh, God. Oh, hey, we're almost at the level four. We've earned $15,000. I went to a holistic Oh, we can build a ward now, too. So let's do the ward over here. They recommended a long stay at their spa. At a so we'll do that. We'll do. It cost me a month's wages, but I'm finally starting to feel the effects. Oh, okay. Still can't eat oh no, did somebody die? What's that? Oh yeah, this guy. We couldn't treat him. He's gonna die. Oh, or it's actually if she she died. Darn. Are you gonna turn to a ghost? No, you didn't turn to a ghost. Uh, let's see. So we'll put this like right there, and then we'll put the bed right in front of the door or the window, whatever you want to call it. Nice. All right. Warts can be used for diagnosis and also treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient. Alrighty, so we need yet another nurse. Lionel Brick. Has potential, nasty, pos positive. He's nasty and positive. Oh my god, so many pop-ups. Uh, health ministry is keen. Okay. Neato. Well, let's do this nurse because he's cheap. <laughs> um, alrighty. What do our messages say? Kudosh. We can use this to gain access to new items. So basically we earn kudosh, kudosh by basically having really nice hospital. Got it. Patient death. Sad news. Our first patient death. Blah, blah, blah. There's a chance patients will return to haunt the hospital. So if like a guest dies and they become a ghost, you have to have a janitor that has the like ghost hunting skill basically. But okay. Oh look. We got our little lightheadedness guys cool well i think i'm gonna leave this episode here i'm uh I'm, I'm excited to get this hospital going i think it'll be it'll be fun i'm looking forward to playing more of this game and hopefully you're looking forward to uh more i don't know did somebody else die oh no but um yeah so be sure to leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below i am 8 josh and thanks for watching see ya